Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back or to the channel. If you guys haven't been here before, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you guys know when we're getting some more content back on this channel. Uh, just for a heads up, we are doing a little bit of a giveaway. Um, if you guys watched my last video, it's a little bit of a call out to the, you subscribers to see if you can start your own video with an intro and your introduction to your vehicle. Uh, I have three prizes. One's gonna be a Chemical Guys foam cannon. It's gonna have three different types of soaps with it. They're all about 16 ounces in size. The next one is gonna be a tripod mount for your camera. And I'm also gonna include a $25 gift card in that. And then I'm also gonna do an, a $25 gift card flat. So there's three different prizes. Um, the giveaway ends November 22nd, Black Friday. So I'll narrow it down, I'll pick the winner, and then I will notify you guys via your Instagram or something like that. So make sure you guys get uh, entered for that. If you guys haven't have a, if you guys happen to not have a channel already, sorry, I got a little tongue tied. But yeah, so what today, we got some parts in, we're gonna show you guys what we're doing, and here we go. Well guys, as you see, it takes a lot to get these uh, hitches off. Um, I didn't realize this, but these bolts right here are bed mount bolts, and this is like an alignment pin. I thought it would just slide out after I did, undid the three bolts on the side. So, I'm a little out of breath. I've been working at this for about probably an hour now. If you guys see me in the video, what I was trying to do was align these, these bolts here, these bed bolts. So the bed would come down like straight down and not off to the side. There's the other one over there. You can see it. But yeah, it's a lot of freaking work just to get that hitch off. Just to get it freaking powder coated so it looked pretty. I'm an idiot. As I was undoing the last bolts, you guys can see that box from Wicked uh, Customs came. I'm going to drop these off and I'm going to drop that hitch off at the powder coater. So we can get that taken care of for the week that I'm down. You guys see, I got the bumper sitting over here. There's the hitch. I don't know if you guys military guys know about these math bags or whatever, so we can keep our bolts and stuff in and stay organized. But got those over there. I got some other stuff over there, some spacers. There's my stabilizer uh, bar mounts for the uh, Gen Y hitch. But yeah, my wife's gonna kill me when she sees all this when she wakes up. All right, guys, what we have here is our Wicked Customs one and a half inch leveling kit that I'm gonna stack on top of the actual uh, lift. And this is the clear our new set of wheels and tires that's gonna be the And I say a few short, I wish I could say a few short weeks, but yeah, more like middle of January because they're on back order. So 
here's what they look like. Obviously they're raw, but they gotta definitely get a, they're gonna get powder coated. Nice, nice beads. I don't know if you guys can see that. We've got the, the W in there for the Wicked. And then, man, look at that freaking welding. That thing is sweet. Like I said, a little dirty, who cares? They are getting powder coated. And, uh, yeah, they look good. There's the other one. No biggie. Go put these in the bins. We'll get on our way. There you go, fits nice and snug. Excuse the dog here, when you got a 180 pound St. Bernard like Tucker, that stuff gets everywhere. So, see the drool in the back of the seats. I try to keep up with the detailing, but it is what it is. The only thing I really got left to do, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a hole that I drilled in my frame right here for the stabilizer bar mount. It's a half inch hole there, and then it comes out on the other side. It's hard to see, but over here you can see it. Um, drilling through that frame absolutely sucks. I've worn out about four bits doing it, but That's really the only thing I got left to do Today, I'm not gonna film it. It's just drilling. It's nothing special. All right guys We just got back from dropping off that stuff at powder coat So it's gonna be about a week and a half two weeks. He said he had a special order of the powder He says something about the powder isn't really good when it comes to like being out in the sunlight and it can fade over time. I don't know if you guys know much about that, but we are doing the uh, same as we have, the same color as we have on the motor, which is the Prismatic Powders Illusion Cherry. So he's gonna order that. He's gonna knock out the leveling kit, knock out the hitch, and we can get the truck put back together. Kind of testing it, see how he does, see how it turns out before I bring him more parts. Um, and then we'll just go from there. So the truck does look kind of funny without the bumper on it. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it almost looks like a fat dude with skinny jeans on, you know what I mean? It's just weird looking in the back. It's kind of like no butt. So, I don't know if it was lower, probably wouldn't be too bad with the whole like roll pan idea, but she's there. I got these two bolts back here um, tightened down just to hold the bed on real well. But I was kind of nervous about actually getting the bed or taking those bed bolts off because I didn't want to shift anything, move it side to side. As I was jacking it, it moved probably like a half an inch to the passenger side and I was just like ah so I stopped it and kind of moved it back to where it needed to be there's only six bolts that hold the bed on there's actually the one there like I showed you right by the trail hitch which is probably like right about here there's one right above my exhaust which is like right there and then there's one right here so pretty easy to get that stuff done but oh well we got it done all right, guys, I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder to make sure you guys enter that giveaway. If you guys haven't started your own YouTube channel, I highly encourage you just to get out there and just start something. Um, I would love to see more diesel content, more Cummins content when it comes to this, when it comes to YouTube and looking at other vehicles and other people's projects and seeing them actually build it. Uh, there's a sm couple small channels out there I follow. If you tell me to follow you guys or subscribe to your channel on uh, YouTube once you start it, I will do it. I promise you that. Um, other thing, other topics here, Oklahoma, we just went through a crazy ice storm. I don't know if you guys have heard much about that on the news, but it's pretty much devastated this place. We're, we're around 260,000 people without power. I am one of the fortunate ones that have not lost power. Uh, it was probably in the 20s with ice, freezing rain, precip and everything like that. And it just pretty much devastated this area. So just wanted to give you guys an update on that as well. And one last thing I want to mention to you guys is just November 3rd is coming up. The election's coming up. Just get out there and exercise your vote. I don't care who you vote for. Just get out there and exercise that. This will probably be the last video you guys see of me until after the election due to my knee surgery. And I'm just going to be laid up for a little bit, probably knocking out some college, stuff like that. So once again, I just wanted to remind you guys of the giveaway, tell you to get out there and vote. And also, if you're going to have a start, if you're going to start a channel, I will subscribe. Definitely. I will definitely subscribe to your channel. All right, guys, once again, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. I just want to do a quick video, let you guys know I'm having knee surgery tomorrow. So that'll probably put me out of commission for about a week. And then we took the bumper, not the bumper, we took the trailer hitch, and then we took the uh, the leveling, one and a half inch leveling kit from Wicked Trucks and took that and got it powder coated. So that should be pretty much all we need to do to prep for the new wheels and tires that are coming. And it should be just a waiting game at, for then. So says the wheels are going to be here around the middle of january is the, is the 12 to 15 week timeline we'll see how that goes hopefully it's sooner we'll see but uh 
yeah, it's just a waiting game at this point. All right, so once again, appreciate you guys watching. You guys are freaking awesome. If you guys haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on that notification bell for more content from this channel. Once again, we'll see you guys on the next upload. Thanks for watching.